I ain't gonna be the generation to stop. We're gonna keep on fighting and we're gonna win. All right, all right. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I get this up right away. Can you let's know to you? Ben, Ben West. So, uh, which one? All three? Yeah. All three. Uh, how's the Wi Fi here? Should it's good. We're we gonna go live? We are live. Oh, we are live? Yeah, okay, yeah. Come on, we're, we're live. live. We're live. Hey, uh, we're live here. Uh, Brooks! Just got here to Standing Rock Sioux Reservation, uh, tribal here at the building. Tribal Center. Um, Want to wish uh, each and every one of you a great uh, August 30th, Tuesday, wherever you're watching uh, around uh, our Facebook Nation. Um, cousin, brother, Ruben, George here from Slay with Tooth, Cedar, George Parker from uh, uh, Slay with Tooth and Tulalip uh, Tribes. Uh, Really glad to be here. We just uh, rolled in with uh, the totem pole here, the tribal council's meeting, and uh, we had breakfast with our tribal leadership, uh, all the Washington State tribes. That was really nice to to, to see uh, President and Chairman Gladys B um, welcoming us. They they met with our uh, hosts, and then we we just come out a little bit earlier to get our our place here and and. Uh, Hopefully, um, get to stand with our relatives uh, uh, here uh, in solidarity. Yeah, I do. You know, you know I, I see this all over the world. Or, uh, or companies come in and they buy the media, they, they they buy the politicians, they do what they want, they create policy, they break policy. They're not accountable. But the truth is, when we stand up for something like this, all the indigenous people have a, a an indefinite reciprocal spiritual relationship with the lands and waters and we can't explain that to these companies and we can't explain that to the government because they don't even believe in the connection to their own spirit but that's what we have and that's why we stand in solidarity together and that's what we have in common it's it's our cultural and our spiritual laws that that are the backbone behind what we do and 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 that's why we're winning we're going to stand together and we're going to win you know, this, this journey represents all the fights from East Coast to West Coast and all in between. And we're standing together and we're going to win and we're not going to stop. If they win, we all lose. If we win, everybody wins, including them. So we're even doing it for them too. So they're so blinded by their greed that they don't even know how to make proper choices for their future generations. Mm. So we are. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll be uh, going live. We'll be just con Continuous. I want to thank Matt Fuller, uh, Tick, and uh, and putting this on my Facebook page. Hey, <laughs> welcome. We're at uh, the Standing Rock Sioux Nation Administration Building here. Mm -hmm. uh, we come before, uh, as you can see, you got the tribal uh, uh, jewel and and the totem pole there. We've come. I think it's 1,600 miles. Yeah, yeah. We're just about halfway to our destination. Uh, we'll be here for three days. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have lots of prayers with the community and uh, with, with uh, all of our delegation from Washington State. There was uh, many tribes represented. Our, our relatives from uh, Nisqually were uh, had at the breakfast. Uh, again, our Swinomish relatives, our uh, Elwha mm -hmm. and uh, Puyallup friends, Mm -hmm. uh, were uh, there. Uh, they had a tribal leaders meeting just uh, with the tribal leaders and then all the tribal leaders from Washington State are coming out from Yakima uh, 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 to uh, Snoqualmie to yeah so they were all meeting there. Uh, Faith Spotted Eagle is one of the mm. community leaders uh, here that we met with in uh, Yankton uh, a few years back and uh, so it's just we had a really wonderful reception. We had a um, uh, a real wonderful uh, uh, police escort. As you know, there's a lot of tension for those of you who were watching uh, MSNBC last night. Um, I posted it on my Facebook page uh, with uh, Lawrence O'Donnell, who uh, uh, had a good five-minute conversation with uh, Chairman Archambault, um, and uh, it was really good to, to hear... Uh, how uh, the many nations are coming together to stand in solidarity mm -hmm. with our, our relatives here in uh, Standing Rock. So, 
with that, I'm going to go check in with Jewel, and uh, we'll keep rolling as much as we can. Again, we'll be on and off with the leadership here, give or take uh, our, our ability to run film and 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 uh, and. Um, um, I'm gonna come. Should we go? Come yeah, yeah. To see Jewel here. And... So we're live, Jewel. We just was uh, yeah. updating the community. It's really nice to get a get a good. Uh, Police escort into the <laughs> red here is really nice. Good. Well, you know, it's nice to be here at Standing Rock. Uh, uh, we just pulled the totem pole up and we had a uh, half a dozen of the Standing Rock Tribal Council come out. You know, and uh, one of the young guys that came out, he was here working at Sitting Bull College when we came through. I think it was with the uh, National Library of Medicine totem poles, uh, three piece that we brought through. Yeah, we were here before, and uh, this is a beautiful place, beautiful people, beautiful water. You know, and uh, we're glad to be here to be able to uh, see tribal leaders meeting with the uh, uh, leadership of Standing Rock. You know, and uh, it's important that everybody out there that uh, is involved in any of the organizations uh, really do everything they can to uh, make sure that they use their voice to, uh, I, I, I believe, demand president send in the National Guard and make the, gov uh, the uh, governor of the state back down because he controls the Indian Affairs. Yeah. He's the head chief executive. You know, and we have treaties with the United States. And uh, as we know, the governor's violated almost all the constitutional rights dealing with the natives here. You know, uh, freedom of press, freedom of assembly, freedom of religion, freedom of speech. You know, and uh, you can just go on and on. I mean, uh, we know the Army Corps didn't really consult with the Standing Rock either, and that's their obligation under Executive Order 13175. You know, and they've been violating the laws that govern their activities. You know, so as a consequence of the illegal actions of the corporations and that of the governor, uh, they've been trying to paint a bad picture as if it was the Standing Rock people, but they're the ones that are standing up for constitutional rights, rights that all Americans cherish. Mm -hmm. So uh, thanks for uh, 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 joining us here. You want to introduce Mitchell, just like introducing the chairman. Hey, glad to meet you, Joel James from Lummi. Nice to meet you. You're the one that caught the photo. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I was just saying that this is the second time that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the second time we're here on the totem pole. That's cool. Yeah, man. we brought the National Library of Medicine uh, totem pole here for a call for protect, uh, traditional knowledge. You know, so we're ha happy to be back. Well, I'm glad you're here. And I think you're all of the customers, not just standing around. Oh, thank you. You're standing in solidarity with us and, uh, and the work that you do and, and the prayer that you put into the protocol. We had an uh, uh, amazing time right now, a historic time where tribes from everywhere come in and it's beautiful. So I just want to thank you for being part of it and it means a lot. Thank you. We're proud to be here. Uh, I think all the tribes are feeling uh, like they're empowered by the spirit. Yep. They answered the call to come here. I don't know how many times I heard that where somebody says, I feel it, that I need to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was two days ago, I don't know. I got in the car and now I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. It's really amazing. Yeah, and I'm glad to see that uh, we have three of our Lummi Tribal Council members. And uh, Brian, Brian uh, from Swinomish, the president of oh, the American Indians, come here to also on behalf of his people and NCAI. I, mean, I, I know a lot of uh, churches have uh, spoken out yeah. in defense of uh, what Standing Rock standing up for. Well, it's awesome. It thank is. you for thank you. letting us be here. You're always welcome. You don't have to thank you for being here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Chairman, we're, uh, we're live on our Facebook page there. Uh, it was really good to hear you and see you with uh, Lawrence O'Donnell last night. I'm a big fan of Lawrence on MSNBC and and uh, was really uh, really nice of him to, I mean, you know, as, as good journalists, the world does not revolve around Donald Trump and the election, but, but people really need to be, be aware of what's happening, you know. We're not just uh, standing up for the future generations and protecting our water and protecting our sacred sites and our land and, and our air and and, uh, and uh, bringing this forward, you know, Jewel. And, you know, we changed the totem pole journey to come, to be, to stand with you and and uh, to, to bring this awareness of, of what uh, 
what our, our relatives here in Standing Rock are standing up for. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, the indigenous rights of all nations across the world. There's a movement and you can, you can feel it. And uh, the indig indigenous people are saying, no more. Uh, don't attack our resources. And that's what this is about. Uh, every tribal nation that comes and they see what's happening here, they can relate to a story that happened to them. And, and their recent stories, whether it's oil, coal, uranium, gold, uh, there's contamination, uh, destruction of Unchi Maka, the Mother Earth, and it's not right. Uh, the, the processes that the federal government has, they're flawed. The, uh, and and it, it, they're flawed in a way that adversely affects tribes. So uh, we have to change those processes. We have to look at what it, what it is that uh, what it takes to hear our voices. Uh, we've been ignored for too long. So the Lawrence O'Donnell show is a, a, a good show that the piece that he did last week is a good piece that outlines the history that all nations in, uh, in, in, on Turtle Island uh, face uh, and have faced and continue to face. So it's up to us to, to make a difference today so that the future generations uh, don't have to worry about it and they can start to blossom and it's, it's a good thing, it's a beautiful thing and, and uh, it's an unfortunate circumstance that brings us together but I only see good that's going to come from it. And, and uh, you know, as, as uh, you know, we hear from, from Jewel and just from the different communities, the people of faith, you know, all, all people of different traditions, you know, and, and cultures and, and colors, you know, we, we're, we're standing up to, to um, protect you know, protect the earth. We're the first generation to recognize global climate change, and we're the last generation that can do something about it. You know, I, I would say that all of all along, our all of our indigenous nations have been speaking out, saying what you're doing to Mother Earth is wrong. From the beginning of contact, we've been saying you, you have to respect. Uh, all of our relatives, all of our nations, the plant nations, the animal nations, the, the fish nation, you have to respect them. And, and if you don't, there's going to be catastrophic results. And uh, today uh, is a time when we start to speak out even louder. Even though we've been talking and, and recognizing uh, everybody across the world knows where we're coming from. So. And it's not the first time they said it. It's, it's been ongoing and this conversation isn't new. We just are getting loud enough so that we are hoping, hopeful that our message doesn't fall on deaf ears anymore. Yeah, and and, and with uh, uh, with uh, Jewel and and Chairman Ballou and and the efforts for the, with Lummi Nation, I know we were, you know, we were battling the the coal port mm. and and that fight. You know, it, it's not that, you know, that sometimes they think, oh, it's just a bunch of bones. You know, oh, you Indians are always trying to protect something, but. These were our ancient ones. These weren't, you know, our, our Indian people that have been around for the last couple thousand years. Our elders tell us these are our ancient ones, 5,000, 6,000, 8,000 years. So, you know, our, our, um, our, our uh, elders tell us, you know, we, we shouldn't even be here with the atrocities of the genocide and the boarding school and, and, and smallpox, but We've survived, and now it's up to us to take care for future generations. It's all good. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Chairman. Or councilman, sorry. Councilman. Robert. Sure. Sure. Oh, now we can not pet. You know what kind of? We are what kind of? Lay we Tasha Haska, Hemail, Hunkwa Boyate, Le Tielo, Mini Mitoni, Lila, Ketcher, Lila Washte, Lila Waka, Wakanja, Oyate, Lila, Sa, Lila, Sa Gia in Naji, Le Opetiki. Good morning. Sacred day today, the sun rose for us. This day is sacred, just like every day is for all of us here on Mother Earth. The water is sacred to us. It's our medicine, it provides medicine, our first medicine to our bodies. So for the children and for the 
people and the children not born. We, we stand as a council, we stand as a people, simply because our grandfathers would have did the same for us and have done the same for us. Even though their end was death, they still stood for us. So we, as the descendants, as ancestor, our, our ancestors said, this is for the generations yet to come. They need to have something for their children also, something that's left for them. And so in our, in our growing up, we've always been taught how important Unchi Maka is, Grandmother Earth, and how the water is her blood, and how important that is for her people. We're people of the sacred grandfather, who's the person of the creator. So we all have this common, commonality that we live amongst each other. No matter what color, doesn't matter, you know, the, the uh, amount of money they make, it still comes down.